my name is Johan Falk and I'm a math and physics teacher in Stockholm, Sweden. This is another video about spreadsheet actions and I'm going to show you how to use student workbooks, the student workbooks plugin, uh, to manage workbooks for students and how to um, color cells in works, workbooks and things like that. In this first video I'm just going to show you how to create student workbooks, uh, make a copy for each student and share with them eventually. And uh, to do this, we need a new plugin for uh, student, uh, spreadsheet actions. We go to instructions and follow the link to GitHub and the codes and plugins for student uh, spreadsheet actions. And we find student workbooks here. And right now I'm just going to use student workbooks. And hit the raw button here to get to get the raw version of the code, which is much easier to copy and paste. Uh, we should paste this into the code, uh, the scripts running and spreadsheet action. So we go into tools and script editor. And well, once we're in here, we will add a new file, new script file, which I will call uh, student workbooks. Again, the name doesn't matter, but it's easier to find it later on if you name it uh, the same way as the plugin. Command A to mark everything, select everything, and Command C to copy, select everything, and paste. And here we have it, save. Now we're almost done. I'm just going to show you here. Uh, go to the main sheet. If I, to make these things appear in the menu, the setup selection first. This is a this is quirky, and I'm sorry about this. Should be working better, but it doesn't. Select something or deselect something, and the new options will appear. For example, now create student workbook copies is available as an option. And before we do that, I'm good. Well, I should actually have started with uh, just telling you what this is. I have here a spreadsheet, Google spreadsheet, uh, containing some things I want to uh, assess when it comes to my students' uh, math skills and math knowledge. Uh, this is the things I want to assess and this is uh, a different level of assessments which I use. It's quite a bit but it's not fantastically much but this spreadsheet or this workbook could look in any way. As long as it's a spreadsheet you can use it. And I want to use this to say mark things green or mark things uh, yellow or red or so. Let's actually reset that. Okay, so I want to make a copy of these for every student. And I could use the copy file things here, but the spreadsheet actions, uh, spread, uh, student workbooks, sorry, student workbooks allows a few more things. So I'm going to use that. And before doing that, I'm going to look at the options uh, in this plugin. So we have plugin options and we have, for example, template workbook ID. Here is an ID for an open workbook that I could use as a template, but I want to use my own here. So I want to collect the ID from this one. It's found as usual in the URL between two slashes and you should look for something that has a lot of numbers and letters in it. It turns out it's this, that is the ID. If I copy this, I can now paste here. And now I have a, a, a new ID set here that refers to my own uh, workbook template. Uh, one step below we should specify the sheet name that I want to be working with. Uh, if I want to make changes here, color things, I should, uh, there could be more uh, sheets here and I should have the name down here specified. So this is betygs underlag, a Swedish term. And it so happens that this is the uh, standard setting here. And then eventually I want to have two columns for, we should see here, student workbook ID, the ID for the student workbook and the link, uh, a link to the student workbook. I'm going to use columns seven and eight here because I've already used up one, two, six. So workbook ID might be good to have and work book link Six, seven and eight I'm gonna enter this here seven and eight 
then also I can set a pattern for the uh, copies, the students copies of the uh, workbooks. And workbook for John Doe will work fine. So I save this, I go over here, spreadsheet actions, bulk actions, create student workbook copies. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Now it starts processing for the first row, second row, third row, creating one workbook copy for every student. Entering the workbook ID and then the link here. So I could look at John Doe's workbook like this. He has its own. His own. Nice. Uh, I could now, if I wanted to, run the uh, uh, move files to folder and move these files into that folder. That would make sense. I'm not going to do that right now, but that's one thing you could do with spreadsheet actions. Uh, I'm going to stop here, and in the next video I'm going to show you how you can color cells in John Doe's and other students' uh, student workbooks, color cells in an easy way. Um, see you there. Bye.